The all-new Subaru Impreza is a big investment for the Japanese brand. It's developed on an entirely new platform, has a new interior and is designed to be more comfortable and more practical than any Impreza that's come before it. So the question is, does the new Impreza impress? There's certainly no denying that this new generation Impreza has some curves, but it also has some sharp edges. Just like its predecessor, it isn't as rounded as some of its hatchback competitors, and those bookshelf-like tail lights are pretty angular. Whether or not you like the styling is up to you, but what about the practicalities of the design? Well, the boot is a touch bigger than it used to be. It's now 345 litres, so not exactly massive for this class, but thankfully it has a bigger opening for easier loading. In the back, the space is very good. It might not be class leading, but there's easily enough room for someone my size for knee room and toe room. Headroom could be a little bit better. I've got practical things like a door pocket that's big enough for a bottle, a flip down armrest with cup holders and aligned map pocket. There are no rear air vents though. Up front is where the Impreza really makes more of an impression. There's a large dominant touchscreen media system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and in this spec we also get SatNav but all models come with a rear view camera. The screen itself is bright, colourful and easy to use and the whole centre interface is much better than the previous generation Impreza. There's still a secondary screen which sits on top of the dashboard which contains information including your fuel use. It'll also illustrate when you do things like touch the brakes or turn your headlights on and it also shows you when you're using the EyeSight based active cruise control system. That camera based system will warn you if it thinks you're going to crash into something in front and it'll also tell you if the car in front has moved away and you've got your eyes on something else which is pretty neat. The camera system is available on every model except the base one. The safety story is pretty strong for the new Impreza, but you have to get the top spec model if you want blind spot monitoring or rear cross traffic alert. Although the vision from the driver's seat is pretty good. No model comes with front or rear parking sensors, but every model has a rear view camera. The materials and seat comfort have taken a massive step up in this new generation model and in this 2.0i premium you even get a sunroof and this isn't even the top spec. It's a much more practical and mature cabin than in the previous generation Impreza. So does it drive more maturely? The previous generation Subaru Impreza definitely wasn't a dynamic star, but the new generation version has taken a big step forward for the brand. That new architecture means that the body of the car is lower to the ground, it's got a lower centre of gravity, and that means that it handles better, goes over bumps nicer, and the suspension's been tuned for comfort a little bit more than control this time around. The issue with that is that the rear suspension can pogo a little bit and can feel a little bit clumsy. However, it is let down a little bit by the two litre four cylinder Boxer engine, which is just a little bit more powerful than before, 115 kilowatts and the same torque, 196 newton meters. Again, it's mated to a CVT transmission and that transmission can be a bit of a mess at times. When you're at low speeds or in traffic and you're coming on and off the throttle, it can chug and lurch and that can make it feel a little bit unrefined, especially if you've got people on board. At other times, when you flatter on the throttle, it does offer good response. And the CVT itself isn't that intrusive, which, you know, is a good thing for a CVT. The steering, though, is reasonably direct and pretty accurate. It doesn't offer the most feel through the steering wheel, and we've tested it through some tighter, sportier driving corners than these. And it is a lot better balanced than it used to be. There's a real connection between the front axle and the rear axle, and that gives you a lot of confidence through corners. It could maybe do with some better tires. The Bridgestone Taranzas fitted to this model aren't the best tires in the world, but there's plenty of traction. That all wheel drive system that Subaru is known for shines once again in the new Impreza. 
All in all, the 2017 Subaru Impreza does impress. In fact, there are elements of the car that are a standout for the small car class. It's just a shame the engine wasn't more potent because it could have been a giant killer. We think this 2.0i Premium could be the pick of the range, but in order to find out, you might have to stay tuned to Car Advice for more coverage on the new Impreza.